Do you have any other like? Uh, this is nothing I didn't want to ask about. Like, what are you? you like, I mean, you're not like necessarily going to call yourself an expert or a, a scholar, but you've done a solid amount of reading about shipwrecks now. So, from your kind of armchair perspective, what would you say are your top tips for not wrecking ships? Um. Well, first of all, I mean, use your available information so you don't end up, you know, driving into a hurricane, uh, like we covered in episode one. Um, you know, if you're going to overload your ship, you know, maybe only overload it like twice as much as you should. Uh, once you get into the three times, four times is when you really run into some issues. Good um, lord! With that, um. Yeah, um, if if you find yourself piloting a steamboat, um, if that's something that happens, um, don't overload your boilers. Um, stay away from Norwegian ships. Uh, that is actually um, one of my very good friends, uh, Taylor, my co-host, uh, who's chiming in there, um, saying stay away from Norwegian ships. Very good mm -hmm. advice. Yeah, I was, uh, I was talking about steamboats and um, crazy stuff in the days of steamboats. Um, you know, they make safety... Uh, measures even back then they had safety measures you know saying you can't uh you can't push your boiler past x uh point um captains would often tie down those safety valves so that they couldn't engage um and make it go even faster um and so that's why you see so many stories about steamboats just fucking exploding uh because they're being worked too hard um so don't do that um that's probably the the last piece of advice i would give um don't get in duck boats ever what are duck reason. boats uh, a duck boat. Um, so we, we have a whole episode about duck boats. I think it's episode 31. Uh, duck boats were a amphibious vehicle that was rolled out during World War II. Uh, they mm -hmm. were first used in the invasion of Sicily. Um, they're, they're similar to what, what you're thinking of, like a landing craft, like you see on the D-Day landings. Um, but they've just got wheels. So they're like, they're kind of like Heelys, um, in that sense. Um, but uh, yeah, so you could get in them uh, in the water, drive up the beach, um, and you know, do your thing. Um, they're kind of made to be disposable, uh, not something that's supposed to be kept around for seventy years and then used for like tourist sightseeing purposes. Oh no! Um, so yeah, there's been multiple fatal uh, accidents involving duck boats. Just a few years ago, uh, the big one we covered was in Branson, Missouri, on Table Rock Lake. Um, I forget how many people died. Um, but yeah, they sink very, very fast, and they're very hard to get out of if they're covered with a canopy. Um, oh, good lord! Yeah. Oh. So yeah, that was our that was our most infuriating episode, probably was the duck yeah. boats. This I'm very curious to listen to more of your episodes because I yeah listened to the Edmund Fitzgerald episode, um, and it's just it, it's really interesting to hear about. But I also like that's my two biggest fears are like deep water and an open space and i think that's for the same reason it's just such like a vast expanse of like nothingness that can kill you um and so listening to your podcast also like gave me just like a creeping sensation of just like i'm not safe anywhere and i'm very happy i live in a landlocked province yeah i we addressed this in our first episode i kind of talk about that a little bit but i'm like terrified of being on a boat or being on a ship um, mm. I would probably never want to do it. Um, they're fun to read about. Taylor's much more of a actual on the water person than I am. Um, and yeah, after doing all the research for the show, that probably isn't going to change. 